We're getting our rock on, says and I. We are. Yeah. We're selling it yet? Did yeah, we're like selling it, all right. Uh, <clears throat> well, Eurovision is heating up and glory lies in the hands of our next guests mm. as they face off in tomorrow's semi-final. We are pleased to say Voyager joins us live now from Liverpool. Legends! Yeah. Hey, guys! <laughs> look at you. You look terrific. Hey, you're just off the stage. How'd rehearsal go? Amazing. Yeah, so, so good. good. So good. The crowd roared. It just felt right to be on that stage. Oh, man, so good. I just want to get back on. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, look, uh, Joel Creasy's over there, and uh, he said to me yesterday on radio that you guys were awesome. Uh, yep. the competition's tough. How are you feeling about the pressure? We're feeling yeah, great. great. Pressure makes diamonds, you know. So <laughs> being from Western Australia, a thing or two about diamonds and oil and everything <laughs> that gets pressure on us in the crowd. So, More of the uh, that's what we need to do. We need to <laughs> Don't secede, all right? <laughs> hey, this is the first time a band has represented Australia at the contest. I mean, you're breaking new ground here, you guys. Don't you think it's about time? Yeah. It's about time. Yes. Yeah. And it's great. You know, we bring we bring the energy that I think is is so needed. You know, too many ballads and things. We just we want to rock, rock out, and you know, the crowd the crowd love it. You can feel it. Like the, the energy is electric. So. Everyone's up for a party this year. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. No, I'm always up for a party. Uh, <laughs> just give us a roar, guys, before we go to your Australian to grand fans. Final. Three, two, one. <laughs> Wait, where's the audio on that? What happened? <laughs> Do it again. Do it Three, again. two, one. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should rehearse that, shouldn't we, Carl? Let's hope it goes a bit better. We love, <laughs> we love Zoom calls. I'm with you. I'm with you. Thank you, boys. Rock <laughs> on. You can catch Voyager performing their semi-final round live tomorrow at 5am on SBS and <sighs> SBS On Demand. Brilliant stuff. We have an update on a story we brought you earlier in the week. It was mm. one of the weirdest stories to emerge yeah, from Coronation. Now, people taking to social media convinced this man was, in fact, <laughs> Meghan Markle, dressed up in disguise. So the rumour quickly went viral on Twitter. Um, one person writing, Meghan... You're not fooling us. <laughs> uh, well, the man at the centre of the drama has now responded and we know his name is Sir Carl. He's a composer <laughs> and he posted a TikTok to set the record straight. I'm surprised that some people thought it was Meghan Markle in disguise. Someone wrote, I was there, whoever I was, was there to steal the crown jewels. <laughs> I, I look this way all the time. <laughs> Going on, Carl. I'm not convinced. And do you reckon it might still be Megan? Mm. Unfortunately for Carl, uh, some viewers weren't convinced either. One person writing, This is just what Meghan Markle in disguise would say. <laughs> <laughs> One big conspiracy. <laughs> it's really her. Yeah. We're it's... going to get to the bottom of it by the end of the show. That's right. There's no <laughs> doubting Alex is real, though. No. Definitely. De that's Meghan Markle every day of the week. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Thank you, guys. What a story that is, eh? Yeah. It's been a tumultuous week of footy. The AFL Tribunal under fire for a controversial decision, it must be said. Origin jerseys up for grabs and a player eating grass. To discuss, we're joined by NRL legend Sam Thide and AFL legend Nathan Brown. Good morning to you, fellas. What a morning. week it's been. Let's start with yourself, morning, Nathan. Alex. Demons appealing Jacob Van Royen's two-game suspension. D's coach Simon Goodwin reckons that ban challenges the fabric of the entire game. Your thoughts? Yeah, well, I agree with Simon Goodwin. Uh, I think everybody who's seen this, I, I believe it's a footy action. I believe you'll get off. So I think uh, the whole system is farcical at the moment, starting from the match review officer. So Michael Christian has an opportunity when he looks at this, and he's a former player, he's a defender himself, so he would know that's a defensive action. So he can override the system. So he looks at something and it's careless, it's in, or it's intentional, or it's high impact, and that might come out at one, two, or, or three weeks as it has. So he has the opportunity then to override that and go, no, I know a football action when I see it. I know that somebody's trying to spoil a ball. I'm going to give him zero and this would have gone away straight away mm. there wouldn't have been any appeal by the AFL he would have got off and I think it should have been stopped with Michael Christian yeah so you reckon he'll play I think he'll play. I, I, I think he has to get off that. It is a football action. And I agree with Simon Goodwin. It seems to be a lot of ex-players coming out. And, and a lot of ex-players that are coming out, I guess, uh, condemning this have been the same ones that have been really hard on head-high contact, saying players should go out. But this one just seems a little bit different from the rest of them. The rest of them where you jump off your feet, you bump into someone, you use your shoulder or your elbow. This was a young man trying to spoil the ball. And I feel that he looked at his opponent to try and get his bearings about where he was to try 
try and affect the spoil. Yeah, so interesting. It's got everyone talking. I think they heard a crack in his neck, which didn't help either. He was helped from the field, which doesn't help his cause. But, hey, we shall see, Brownie. But, Sam, let's bring you in. Maroons coach Billy Slater keeping a very close eye on tonight's Storm Bronx clash. Reese Walsh coming in for Kalen Ponga. What do you think? I think we're down to 20 days till State of Origin kicks off in Adelaide at the beautiful Adelaide Oval. I was down there the other day. Uh, looks immaculate, looks ready to play. 31st of May, it's all on. But mm. Billy Slater will have his eye on Reese Walsh tonight, uh, depending on how he plays. This is uh, the best time of year. Uh, I love when we get uh, into this Origin uh, chat. Uh, I absolutely love State of Origin. It's one of the best games uh, in our calendar. And uh, all Reese has to do, as cliche as it sounds, is go out and play well from the Broncos and let the selectors do their job. Uh, <laughs> they'll pick him if, he, if he's good enough to be playing for, for Queensland. I'd love to see him there. <laughs> there's, there's a white picket fence that, that you're sitting on there, there Sammy. Uh, come on, come on. Is, is it Reese or what? I know it hurts a little bit, but I like it. <laughs> it does hurt. I know. We've all yeah. been there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. It hurts, but it's, it's good. Uh, I'm going to go. Number one, Reese Walsh. There you go. There you go. Hey, um, I want to talk about this. This is this was pretty interesting, and we're not putting anything on this young man, Matt Rowe. Um, he was spotted before the game on the weekend, getting acquainted with the field, really getting into it, and just eating the grass as you're watching right there. Um, some people have been known to do this. Novak Djokovic does it at Wimbledon, apparently. Sammy, what do you think? Oh, play on! I love it. Uh, he's becoming one with the ground. You know, he's good in that little bit of grass inside his microbiome. It's, you know, it's, you know, it's just the vibe. It's, it's Marbo, it's the vibe. It's, you know, this great thing. <laughs> Randy, did you have any... I've seen, I've yeah. seen weirder things. I've seen weirder things. Yeah. Have, you, have you seen weirder things, Brownie? Uh, there's a lot of weird people that play AFL football, let's be honest. But he's a weird unit. But let's celebrate how weird he is. I mean, yeah. if you're going to cook a bolognese, you're going to taste a little taste, aren't you? You're going to go out in the footy field and play for two and a half yeah. hours. You want to know what's going on out there. That's it. That's it. They call it earthing, apparently. It's getting, being at one with your surrounds. He's playing great footy. It's clearly yeah. working. So, all, fair, all fairness to him, I Alex, say. Alex, I think at the end of the day, if you... Alex, if you want to be the goat at the end of the day, you've got to eat a bit of grass. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go, Sammy. Well <laughs> done. Well done. We haven't got time it. for your tips, our tips on our socials. Thanks, fellas. We'll Beautiful. Talk to you soon. Excellent <laughs> stuff. Let's see um, what sort of thing Timmy's eating this morning on <laughs> the Sunshine Coast. Grass? There you go. <laughs> Oh, I don't know about that. Um, I really want to win this Your Town prize home, guys, but I am not going to eat the grass. It's too nice to eat. And the Pope would have felt the Vatican was in safe hands today when Spider-Man swung by after the Pontiff's weekly audience. The comic book hero held his mask in his hand as he bowed to the Pope and greeted him. The man in costume, though, is actually a real-life superhero because he visits hospitals in Aww. Italy to entertain child patients. Oh. I have two very Spider-Man obsessed little boys at home, so they would be very yes. excited to see. Funny, very entertaining. It's like <laughs> so good. I just yes. wish you would have done that. Yeah. To I know. Yeah. Yeah. We're all hey, expecting an outing going. You know, one of those ones. <laughs> now, if you're like me and you're not really a fan of the parallel park, then have a look at this. Vision has emerged of new technology being tested by Hyundai, where the car's wheels oh. turn 90 degrees. What? activating what's being described as crab mode. No. The car then just slides into the spot, making the somewhat tricky manoeuvre a breeze. I like parallel parking. I actually really enjoy it. But that is so cool. I have quite a few paint nicks on my, <laughs> my, my little old Mazda. Oh. <laughs> I always feel sorry for people when they get, you know, and they're doing it and you're behind yeah. them. I'm like, no pressure, come on, you got this. I want to support them, you know. It's just those pillars in the car park that know. jump out of you, out yeah. at you when you're least Don't expecting it, you know. That's right, that's right. Mm, very anyway, cool, Toyota. That's a very good technology, that. Oh. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Looks like a dream there, Timmy. That house is amazing. I'll tell you what, Friday night there, get Isn't the fruit it? bowl out. Bowl. Hey, <laughs> he's mean. in the bowl. Oh! <laughs> One of those parties, oh, eh? Hey? It's Queensland. <laughs> Anything goes in Queensland, apparently. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> hey, Ooh, Sylvia, tricky. David, you know what I mean? <laughs> no. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm from Queensland. I don't get it. I don't... <laughs> I'm from Adelaide. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Are you South Australians? <laughs> Your eyes twitching a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Hey, Have Steve. a great day. Good morning. Hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs>
What's my name again? Oh my God, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?